What's going on everybody? It's your boy Captain Jack. We had an absolute epic day. We had Brian Myers joining us, Nick Bailey, and we slayed it. Stay tuned for some epic diving. What's up you guys? We are diving up north up in Stewart and I'm telling you the viz up here is so good. You don't get viz like this. We're at least 40 plus feet of viz. Normally it's like 10. We got Ryan Myers with us. Uh, I'll also leave his channel down below. He crushes it out in Hawaii. We got Nick Bailey. And also uh, we're out with my sister. And we're gonna get in the water and hopefully crush it. So somebody is very upset about driving first. <laughs> Our guy. What do you feel about it? What do you, what do you think? This will be my first and last time on a Nick Bailey expedition. <laughs> my Captain favorite Barry. dive spot of all time. Right right below us right now. We did this for Sam. <laughs> oh! So we jump in at about 70 feet and it does not take long for the fish to show up. Nick made a drop and took a super far long shot on this kingfish. I dive down to see if he needs any backup. I give him the thumbs up. He says yeah, but then he tells me second shot. It needs it, so I head to the surface and tell Paige to get on it. She's already trucking that way. Get a backup shot. Paige, back up. Now Paige is using a Predator pole spear. She wanted to test it out, and she put the backup shot perfectly in that kingfish to secure that we get that fish for the day. Now when it comes to backup shots, I always say it's better to be safe than sorry, and just make sure you make a really good backup shot when you do so. Guys, I'm hearing a lot of celebration. I think that Jack's sister just pole speared and saved the fish. Nice fish! Look at that! And now it's handy the whole thing. Look at that! I shot that thing from like 25 feet away, bro. It was stupid how far I shot that thing from. The king? Yeah. Oh yeah, like so far. Dude. And then what? Clean up? Yeah! That thing was about to rip go. off and she comes over and pow, dude! <laughs> that was stoked. Nice, Ryan got a mangrove. Showing us how it's done. So this is really cool. Now Ryan is diving in about 70 feet of water and this dude has some serious bottom time. You can look at the way he hunts. You can really take a lot of pointers from him. So really go check out his channel. He goes through on ways to hunt, ways not to hunt, how to secure fish, how to make sure you're one with the environment. It's some really good stuff and you see him doing it here. His movements are very minimal. You can see the GoPro is really scanning nice and smoothly and calmly, not thrashing around. Of course, it leads to a fish. So we'll go ahead and sit, watch him hunt and see how he is successful. Now that is some serious patience. He kind of looked around to see if anything bigger would show up. Nothing really did. That fish was super comfortable with him, which made him coming real close and he got the shot. Nice dude. I heard Nick Bailey does a mean whole fried snapper. That's right. Woo. So shortly after that, it was Nick, Ryan and I in the water. This is Ryan's GoPro. A nice kingfish comes in and he takes the shot. Now he just lets it free spool. He wasn't too sure on the shot. It was kind of a far shot, but there's multiple divers in the water and we will get a backup shot on this fish. So that is Nick's viewpoint, uh, trailing Ryan. I kind of catch up to him. I give him my belt clip in case he needs it. We're kind of keeping an eye on his spool, seeing how much line this thing is taking. He ends up finally gassing out. We catch up and get a backup shot. So now here's Nick's GoPro. I go down there as well. We didn't really see each other, but Nick pops him. And I'm right there, making sure everything's all good. And we get this fish to the surface, mission successful. You see there Nick giving the thumbs up, meaning it's good to pull the fish in. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you see Nick laughing there, and it's because Ryan's spear is barely in the fish, so it was a good thing he didn't put any pressure on. Nice. Yeah, thick. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> That was epic. Textbook. Ryan laid a good shot in that king ball. The only shot he had. It was a far shot. shot. It was far. Just barely clipped that thing. If you're aimed for like that back part of the, the right below, right between those two fins, that same shot forward up in the meat area where it's a lot softer, a lot of times that tears out, but it's real sinewy right there in the back. And I find that with the Wahoo, that if you just clip them right there, a lot of times that shot holds. And whenever you get a shot like that, a far shot, don't horse them, don't pressure them that much, let them run. The spear is enough to weigh them down. And uh, especially if you have other buddy divers, we put a backup shot of that, didn't pressure the fish. Good fish, good fish in the box. So we move into about 80 or 90 feet and some big amberjacks kind of come up to the surface. I'm grunting, hoping Nick can get a shot on one of these fish. And he does, he gets a really good shot. I kind of make a drop, take a look at the fish, see if it needs a second shot, and it doesn't. But I at least want to help Nick pull it to the surface, so I grab a hold of his line, and both he and I are pulling this fish up to the top. And we have our buddy Facundo at the surface. He takes a shot with his three prong and secures the fish. I don't know why it's been so hard, <laughs> but we got it. I tried to stone this thing, but I was a little bit high. It's all good. Basically, it's a good eater size, yeah, honestly. Uh, yeah, it is. That's perfect. So now that Nick got me all amped up on shooting AJs, I know I had to go down and get one. And with these things, if you're patient, grunt a little bit, they'll kind of stick around and it giving you a really good shot. And that's exactly what happens here. I drop down, I'm in about 80 feet of water right now. And one gives me a good lineup and I go for that kill shot. And I hit him right where I was aiming. I absolutely rolled him which will make it way easier to get them up to the surface and to secure the fish rather than have to fight them all the way up. All right, so we're getting some fish. Nick shot that AJ. I got an AJ and that's what you want. You want that shot right above the eye, lights out. That was, uh, that was sick, he did a little somersault there. So yeah, we're gonna keep getting after him. So shortly after, Ryan makes a drop, and this is from his GoPro, and you can see how many AJs there actually are. They come into him and just start vortexing him. And since he has all that bottom time, it makes it a little more inviting for other species to come in, especially when he's down there hanging out with other fish, and that's exactly what happens on this dive. You can see kind of off in the distance towards the left, there is a black grouper, and these things are really sought after. They are kind of cream of the crop of from where we're diving and he makes an epic shot on this fish and I'll explain exactly what happens shortly after So you see his shot placement, he made a good shot on the fish. It ended up coming off the spear. Like right now, that's when it came off. And I kind of have an idea what happened. I think his spear went through the fish and hit the structure on the other side, bouncing it out. And I kind of think that he didn't get full penetration that way, but that's just a guess. Who knows what it could have been. Now in the meantime, Nick is making a drop on some chum and lines up on this stud mangrove, adding to our whole cooker pile of fish. Now when you're hunting fish like this, where you're diving from the surface, you gotta make sure one, that the fish start eating all the chum, and then two, make sure you are descending super slow, almost as if you're a piece of chum yourself.
Now this is a sweet dive from Ryan. He makes a drop in front of the structure, kind of diving the same 80 foot area. He kind of crawls over to the structure and you'll see his movements. Everything he does is super slow, super casual, and he has some insane bottom time. So right there, he spots a fish. He spots an actual gag grouper, and this is a good size gag grouper. And you can see he almost as if he doesn't even pay any attention to the fish, and he's slowly, slowly creeping up on the fish. Doesn't want to startle him, wants to get close enough to land that good shot, and I'll let you see what happens. So he landed a great shot and he has to get to the surface. He's been down there for a while. And of course, a giant Goliath goes after his fish. Luckily, kind of sized him up, realized he was too big and didn't make him a meal. So now at the same time, I just dropped to do a dive. And you'll see my GoPro now, I'm dropping down and I actually shoot a Porgy. I head up to the surface to see that Ryan shot an epic fish nice dude what the fuck? that's a slob dude that's a, gag. that's a big gag Slobbers, dude. Good work. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't shoot anything when I was down there. <laughs> Bro, solid, solid gag. Dude, run me through it. What happened? What happened? Your fans want to know, guys. Another one of those rules of spearfishing, pretty much clear cut across the board, no matter where you are in the world, is the fish are always in front of the structure. So out here, we've been diving all these different rubble piles and I prefer to land in the sand in front of them and then crawl up. And that's always where the gags are sitting. And there were two beautiful ones there. That black grouper I lost was doing the exact same thing. That is a beautiful Stuart fish right there. It has been years years since I got a gag. This is this is what I grew up shooting right there, so that's pretty special. We are making our way back, and before it's too late, I wanna let you guys know that this episode is sponsored by Rocked Up Reef Apparel Company. Go ahead and check them out. I got a link for them down below in the description. We're gonna head back to the dock, fillet these fish, and do a little catch and cook with Ryan and Nick's family. All right, everyone, we are back at the house and we have everything cooking up. Ryan did the due diligence of cutting these up into perfect nugget size. <laughs> what else are we doing, Nick? Whole cooker? Yeah, whole cookers. Yo, you, you guys remember from the last video how fire these were. It's Jack's fired right. up, I'm fired up. It's all I want. It's all I want. The whole, the whole cookers. I'm pretty stoked on it. I actually did another video a while ago. Link it up in the corner. We slayed it, got some whole cookers. But stay tuned and we will see you as we start cooking these things. Oh god! All right. Oh hot! It's good. Man. Yeah. Oh my god! Hot. <laughs> Wait, god. Dave, mm. kill shot doesn't have a kill shot on, but we'll pretend. So I got a thin one, so it wasn't too hot. Yeah, yeah. Anybody's sauce dripping? I can take some extra sauce. Yeah. So far. Yeah. I, I used love to it. Not really like <laughs> you don't like gag groupers because you can't shoot them. Ryan. Oh. I, bro, you know what? Oh, I got that on. Oh. Okay, so we got porgy. We got mangrove. All right, I'm a little biased. I want the porgy to taste good, but I will be honest with you guys. Porgy, mangrove. Good, I'm gonna compare it to the mangrove. I'm gonna try to swallow this. All right, mangrove. Skin on the mangrove is better. 
I think that makes it a little bit better. Is that crisp? Yeah, yeah, it's a little better. It's All like right. a light crisp. It's good. Good though. Both are good. All right, you guys, there you have it. Nice little cookout, big time fish fry. Super epic diving, especially going out with Ryan Myers. It was also great having Sam and Graham come and show us how to do some cooking. If you haven't already, check out Ryan's channel. I will leave it up in the corner or also in the description. Also, same thing with Nick Bailey spearfishing. Nick Spe Bailey spearfishing, go subscribe! All right, you guys, so thanks for joining, and I'll see you next week for another adventure. Later.